You went through surgery, you finished radiation, you completed chemotherapy, and now everyone asks you the same thing. Are you cured? For early stage breast cancer, cure is possible. Many people will never see their cancer come back. But the truth is more complicated. Not every patient is cured, and recurrences still happen. Today we'll break it down. Why cancer can return, what cure uh, really means, and what you can do to lower your risk. Welcome to Cancer Treatment Updates, where treatment options for cancer are discussed openly and demystified. When we talk about stage 1, 2, or 3 breast cancer, the goal of treatment is cure. That's very different from stage 4 or metastatic breast cancer, where curable is not possible nowadays. The good news is that with surgery, radiation, chemotherapy, and newer targeted treatments, many people with early stage breast cancer live the rest of their lives cancer-free. But not everyone. Even after aggressive treatment, some cancers return. This is why patients often live with uncertainty, and why the question, am I cured, can feel so hard to answer. In everyday life, cure means the disease is gone for good. In medicine, cure means you live out a normal life span with no recurrence of the cancer. Here's the challenge. We don't know for sure right after treatment who's cured and who isn't. That's why doctors often say no evidence of disease or remission. The cancer is gone as far as we can tell, but only time will confirm a cure. There is also something called a statistical cure. When researchers look at large groups of patients and see that after a certain number of years, very few recurrences happen, they consider most of those patients cured. So yes, cure is possible in early stage breast cancer. But for each patient, the answer becomes clear only over time. If the tumor was removed, the chemo was given, and the breast was radiated, why does cancer sometimes come back? The answer is that Tiny clusters of cancer cells can remain behind. They are too small to see on scans or feel on exams. These leftover cells can hide in the body. Sometimes they stay asleep for years. Other times they wake up and start growing again. Biology matters. Triple negative breast cancer is more likely to come back in the first few years after diagnosis. HER2 positive breast cancer used to have high recurrence risk but her two targeted drugs have changed that story. Hormone receptor positive breast cancer can come back much later, even 10, 15, or 20 years later. The body's defenses also matter. The immune system can keep small numbers of cancer cells under control. But if those cells learn how to escape detection, recurrence can happen. Not all recurrences are the same. Local recurrence means the cancer comes back in the same breast or chest wall area. Sometimes this can still be treated for cure. A regional recurrence means the cancer shows up in nearby lymph nodes, like under the arm or near the collarbone. This may still be treated aggressively, with a chance for cure. Distant recurrence means the cancer has spread to other parts of the body, like bone, liver, lung, or brain. This is considered metastatic breast cancer. It is not curable nowadays, but it is treatable. Doctors estimate recurrence risk using several factors. Stage at diagnosis, tumor size and lymph node involvement are very important. Tumor biology, triple negative, and HER2 positive tumors carry, in general, higher risk though targeted treatments can change this. Their genomic assays, tests like Oncotype DX or Mama Print analyze the tumor genes to predict recurrence risk and help decide who needs chemotherapy. Other tests help with prognosis as well, like Prosigna or Endopredict. Circular tumor DNA can look at tiny fragments of cancer DNA after treatment. It is still experimental, but may one day help identify who is likely cured and who may need more therapy. So while no test gives 100% certainty, these tools help doctors and patients understand the risk and tailor follow-up care. The whole reason we use so many treatments in early-stage breast cancer is to reduce the risk of recurrence. Surgery removes the tumor. Radiation lowers the risk of cancer returning in the breast or chest wall. Chemotherapy targets cancer cells that may have spread through the bloodstream. For specific subtypes, we add more tools. Hormone therapy, like tamoxifen or aromatase inhibitors, lowers recurrence risk in hormone receptor-positive cancers. Sometimes this is given for 5 to 10 years. 
HER2 targeted therapies such as trastuzumab or pertuzumab dramatically reduces recurrence in HER2 positive cancers. CDK46 inhibitors can further lower recurrence risk in some high risk hormone receptor positive patients. Immunotherapy is now used in certain triple negative cancers to reduce the risk of recurrence. And for patients with inherited BRCA mutations and high risk disease like cancer that is spread to the lymph nodes, we may add a pill called a PARP inhibitor after standard treatment. This medicine makes it harder for BRCA mutated cancer cells to repair themselves, lowering the chance of recurrence even more. On the other hand, not every patient needs aggressive therapy. For people with a very high chance of being cured, doctors are studying uh, how to safely give less treatment. This is called de-escalation. Some examples include the use of low-dose tamoxifen. In some postmenopausal patients with hormone receptor positive HER2 negative breast cancer and very low risk features, researchers are testing if a small dose of tamoxifen might work with fewer side effects. This is still in clinical trials. HER2 positive patients with complete response. If cancer disappears completely after pre-surgery treatment with chemo and HER2 targeted drugs, doctors are studying whether extra chemo after surgery can be skipped or monoclonal antibody therapy can be shortened. Triple negative patients with complete response. If cancer disappears after chemo and immunotherapy before surgery, Researchers are asking if continuing immunotherapy afterwards is always needed. Again, this is part of a clinical trial. The goal is balance. Enough treatment to cure the cancer, but not so much that patients suffer unnecessary side effects. Finishing treatment is a huge milestone, but it can also bring anxiety. Every ache or pain can raise the fear of recurrence. This is normal. It's called fear of recurrence, and almost every survival feels it. Survivorship care plans help provide structure. They outline when to come back for exams, when to get mammograms or other imaging, what symptoms should prompt a call, like new persistent bone pain or unexplained weight loss. Support groups, counseling, and patient organizations can help patients live with uncertainty while still moving forward with life. Beyond medicines, lifestyle choices matter. Being overweight or obese can raise the risk of breast cancer coming back. Losing weight after treatment may help lower that risk. A regular physical activity improves overall health and lowers risk of breast cancer and other cancers like colon cancer. Even brisk walking can make a difference. Avoiding smoking and uh, limiting alcohol also help lower risk. Think of these as tools you control. They are not guarantees, but they give your body its best chance. Not all patients benefit equally from these advances. Some never receive genomic testing. Others can't access extended hormone therapy, PARP inhibitors or CDK46 inhibitors because of insurance or cost. Rural patients may not be offered clinical trials or survivorship programs as they do in large cancer centers. Equity matters. Cure should not depend on your zip code, your income, or your insurance card. So if you've completed treatment for early stage breast cancer, here are key steps. Ask your oncologist, what's my personal risk of recurrence? Know your plan. What treatments are reducing that risk? Stay alert. Know which symptoms should trigger a call. Take charge of lifestyle. Focus on weight, exercise, and healthy choices. Use resources like NCCN, ASCO, Cancer.net, ACS, American Cancer Society, and patient advocacy groups. So, are you cured? For many people with early stage breast cancer, the answer is yes. They will live the rest of their lives cancer free. But for others, recurrence can happen, not because of anything they did wrong, but because of biology. Cure is possible, and with today's advances, more patients are reaching it, but it's only confirmed with time. The goal today, use every tool we have to reduce risk, live fully in the present, and hold on to hope.